Mina, come on, Jesus freaking gamer here, coming at you with Psalm 81, and it's going to be verses 11 and 12. Um, if you want the general context, you can read the entire psalm. It's basically like, you know, God, you're so good. Thanks for being a good God to Israel. Thanks for delivering us from Egypt. But we really haven't followed you like we should. And so he goes on to say, kind of like this is God talking, but my people would not heed my voice, and Israel would have none of me. So I gave them over to their own stubborn heart to walk in their own counsels. Oh, that my people would listen to me, that Israel would walk in my ways. I would soon subdue their enemies and turn my hand against their adversaries. And then verses 15 and 16 kind of just reiterate that point. Things would go really good for Israel if they would obey at this point. And so I'm reading this. And like we've read a lot. If you've been following me for any length of time, particularly since I've gotten into the Psalms, you'll see a lot of people are discussing, and by a lot of people I mean the people who wrote these Psalms, and by a lot I guess I also mean mainly David Asaph and just a few others. Uh, <laughs> they are the predominant Psalm writers. So with that, so maybe not a ton of people, but with that in mind, there's a, this constant, you know, God come back to us, God save us, God we're in trouble, and I've discussed that on a few points. What I got out of this psalm here, and this, this is important, and it's going to be a little bit offensive, we need to keep in mind our part that we've played in whatever bad thing it is that we're doing. If we're honest with ourselves, we'll have to admit that sometimes we walk and live in such a way as to invite um, certain calamities upon ourselves. We do things that result in negative consequences. A, a light example, like if you arrive at late, uh, late to work, you're going to get written up, suspended, and probably eventually fired. Just because, you know, it, it's, it's a really small thing. It doesn't have to be like late by 30 minutes. You can be late just by one minute. majority of companies will write you up, and then if you keep doing it, they'll suspend you. If you keep doing it, you will be fired. So this little thing can add up into something very, very bad. And a lot of the times when we live with the way we live our lives, a lot of this stuff we bring on ourselves. Just like God said, so I gave them over to their own stubborn heart to walk in their own counsels. A lot of the times the trouble we're asking God to deliver us from, we brought on ourselves. And we need to be honest and open with ourselves and before God and possibly with some of the people around us and own up to the things that we've done to put ourselves in the bad spots we're in. It's not always the case, but from what I can tell a lot of the times, I, if I was to make a guess, I'd probably say over 50% of the time, it's on us. Um, there are certainly things that come our way that we're not in control of, but for the most part, at least right now, where I am in life from, from what I've seen, it seems to me that the majority of our life uh, is something we choose. The, the path we walk, the things that we do, the good and the bad that comes our way, we have the larger hand in choosing how things go. So guys, let's, um, let's be honest. Let's keep those things in mind. And where need be, let's repent and ask God for forgiveness. Because once, once our hearts and minds are right, a lot of the times those problems will just clear up. And we'll find out the Lord's hand was against us to bring us to that place of repentance where we needed to be. So guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I love you, and God bless.